Hello everybody, it is Nicole from Yukiwi, and today I have another video for my mythology series. So the topic that we're going to be covering today is the Zashiki Warashi, and it is a Japanese spirit. All the information that I got for this topic is on yokai.com, but if you want to check out more about this spirit, I will leave a link down below. So the Zashiki Warashi is known to be a house spirit and it usually inhabits some kind of place with tatami mats or at least that's what it says they are known to be pretty mischievous and play pranks so the first sign of having a zashiki warashi in your house is little footprints from ashes so they're little black footprints and another sign could be children's voices or crumpling of papers wheels turning stuff like that the spirits are said to bring good fortune and good luck to the household that it inhabits. And usually these spirits take form of a five or six year old child, can be either a boy or a girl. If it's a girl, they would have a kimono on and have short black bobbed hair, or if it's long, then it's tied back. And if it's a boy, then they wear some kind of warrior's clothes, something of the sort. The spirits usually befriend the children of the house, and like I said before, they are said to bring good fortune and good luck to the household that they inhabit. However, there is another side to them, and after looking up some pictures of the spirit, um, I've noticed that not a lot of people depict this side. So when this was recommended from my friend, he said that uh, it would be interesting to see how I did a take on the other side of the spirit. And let me go ahead and explain that. So the other side to this spirit is that if you ever try to drive away the Zashiki Warashi or it leaves your household, it will your house will deplete or go down. Um, so one of the stories that was on the website was a family saw... Uh, one of these spirits leave their house and not long afterwards that those family members they all got food poisoning and they all died another story also from the website is that a wealthy man's son tried to shoot one of these spirits and not long after they became very poor and all their fortunes were gone so let's go ahead and talk about the drawing so my initial idea was to have the spirit in the middle and have her split down the middle where one side represented the good side and the other one represented the unfortunate or misfortune side. However, after doing a couple of sketches, I wanted to make it different. The idea behind it was that on one side of the drawing, it would show the fortunate side where they have good luck and the Zashiki Warashi is playing pranks. You see some of the ash footsteps around and it's pretty much like glowing and it feels happy. And then on the other side is more of a gloomy state where perhaps the family members didn't treat the spirit very well and they kind of suffered the consequences. So even though there are two of these spirits in the same picture, they are supposed to represent the same one, so it's like one half and the other. And if you kind of split it down the middle or wherever they meet, you can kind of get a different vibe from it, and that's what I was going for. For the happier side, I wanted to go for very warm colors and very inviting, and I decided that her hair wouldn't be as dark as just pitch black, so I added some yellow in for highlights and some purple. And then for her kimono, I made it yellow initially, just to get the highlights in, then made it pink and then some purple accents. So a lot of my shading was done in purple, and a very like vibrant purple, not more of a gloomy purple. And the background, which was supposed to be tatami mats, but not very good at background, so <laughs> you'll have to forgive me. But I wanted to keep it very warm and really like inviting feeling. And then on the other side, you can see that it was more of the purple, like a gray purple, black, and very gloomy. And I just wanted to capture the 
I guess misfortune and the sadness that came with it if the spirit was driven out or if someone tried to harm it or it was unwanted then I wanted to capture that so I think having the two together side by side really helps to capture both of the sides of the spirit it was definitely a challenge for me not only to do the background but also to do the little footprints and the pose and deciding all the colors and stuff on the spot um, but yeah the most challenging part was the background and I think I could have done it a little bit better probably a lot better if I had planned it more but overall I think the whole atmosphere of the picture is what I was going for so I hope you guys like it and you're enjoying the series so far. I know this is only the second video in this series, but I plan to do plenty more in the future. So with that, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!